Hi everybody, this is a short tutorial on how to use the image renaming randomizer. I made this hopefully um, so it makes looking at your data a bit easier. Um, some prerequisites. You want to make sure you have the most recent version of Python installed. You want to be on Windows 10 or 11. Um, make a backup of your data. So for example, if I have the time lapse here and then set one, I have my controls and my PFOS folders, each of which you know has two images in it, one before and one after. Uh, what I'm going to do is copy all of these and go back and you know put them just in a backup folder just in case anything happens to your data we still want to be able to do it by hand and you want to set it up in a specific structure you could read this or I'll actually show you so if we go into time lapse here so we want to have a folder let's say set one that has all the other folders in it so there should be we'll say set one is the main folder and then each of the folders in it have the two images you gotta make sure it's set up this way I think it does that by default but just to let you know so to do this, uh, you want to go to the GitHub here, click code, download as a zip. That'll download it, and we can go to our downloads folder, and we can select this, and then right click it, and extract all. So now we want to go into the folder that has been extracted. We want to find the image rename file. You click this, this is the Python file, right click it, copy as path then we want to let's open up a new terminal so you can open up terminal or command prompt just press the Windows key and then search for it you want to type Python space and then paste the absolute file path of the script press enter then it'll prompt you for the file path of the main folder so remember the main folder is the one that holds all the little ones so for us that is going to be set one here so when we're in set one, you click just in the white space right here next to desktop time lapse and set one. And if you click right there, it'll select this whole thing. You can control C to copy it and then go back to the terminal. I will paste it and done. Everything is renamed. Uh, we come back in here. It's all the random numbers. You go in here. The images are also renamed. And if we go back to where the main folder is kept back in the time lapse folder, you'll see an answer key has been created. That'll tell you what the what each of the folders was renamed to and what each of the images was renamed to. And as you can see, there's a HI, HEIC file and a JPEG file. It will keep the correct file extension so it won't break your images. If you have any problems, go to the GitHub and go to the troubleshoot, troubleshooting section. Just scroll down here. Or you can ask Anna and she can send me a message. Thank you.